Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. I hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay, thank you. So, how are you? Fine, thank fine, you. How are you? Okay, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, just we are waiting one minute for joining the other participant. Okay, so I will make a message. He will be available or not. Just checking that. Just a minute. No problem. Okay, so I think now he's not available. Okay. Okay, so he also gave the recorded video class. There is no problem. So we'll try to start for today's class. And okay, first of all, we, we will try to discuss about your problem. For the previous problem, you already sent me the code. Okay, but okay, so I'll open the code and try to discuss about that. So basically, today we will uh, discuss about that water quality web application, how we can easily create the Google Act Engine web application, okay, and use for the monitor the total suspended solid, then chlorophyll, and also turbidity, okay, for the specific time period or a specific uh, inland water bodies. Okay. So let's go. We will try to start from here. So just I simply share my screen. Start. Okay, so now can you see my screen? Loading. So now it's visible, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so basically, okay, so I will try to open your code link. Okay, so. Just try to open. Okay. Okay. So now in this time, it's showing that your uh, repository is not loaded. It means that uh, you did not share the properly with your uh, code. Okay. So can you send me the code link again? I also check it. Or possible you can also share your skin and also. I'll do that. Yeah. So you send me right now. Okay, okay, send me again, please. Yeah.
the radio senate the previous port link did you send okay i got it okay try to open it and try to find out the problem okay so okay so it's showing the problem okay and you also did not share your asset so this is another problem you have to share your asset okay share your asset means that your shape file okay shape file how you can easily share the shape file simply go to the asset and find your of uh, of asset okay suppose this is my shape file boundary simply click on the share and then simply click on here anyone can read okay then done it then i can access your uh, asset okay so kindly do that then i also easily access your boundary shape file and find out the problem what is the problem we can do in the code okay so kindly do that i also check it later okay so just simply share your asset first Okay, simply share that and okay so you can send me the asset thing just in simply open that okay this is your boundary now it's loaded okay so i import that and from import i simply click on here and copy and then paste and then click it on again check what is the problem ROI is not defined, okay. okay. Okay, it's showing the result, but in this time you can see here, uh, your region is not completed, okay. So your region, the satellite image is not complete your full region. So that's why it take the problem. Because I also add the visualization, you can see the satellite image. Uh, this satellite image is not fully cover your region, okay. So that's why this part we did not get any result in here okay so this is my satellite image for the water body okay and now this satellite image is not covered this region so in this time it happened when you want to filter the image collection you can check the result from here you can see in this time cloud pixel percentage you can put the less than one person so in this time it means that for this region there is the no image which are less than one percent cloud cover so that's why it's not covered so in this time i simply increasing the value suppose 10 percent and then check also use at the 10 percent and check okay and then also you can say roi is not defined so in this time you want to show the i think you want to add the two shape file two boundary shape file for this analysis Okay, first of all, we try to check the result only for the one boundary shape file. I think this is the first. Yeah. Okay, this shape file it now showing in here. So just I simply copy this shape file variable name from here and put here the instead of the ry. So you can see showing the ry is not found. In this time, I want to use here the instead of the roi you want to put here this shape file variable name is that i simply change it okay 
now click the run again now let's check about the result what we can got from here okay so now i think everything is the good we can check the result okay it also showing the time three chart about that okay okay we can get this time three chart look like that it's showing that when it will be high and this is the high the january 13 and low we can see the january 26 okay we can get the result look like that for the ndci normalized difference chlorophyll index for this water body okay and from that we can easily identify about this time three chart okay so in this time in the meantime you can see here in this time we oh, can oh, yeah. to, to ask the, the problem, problem could be from the 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 resolution the cloud resolution or the cloud okay so basically in this time uh, there is a no problem about the resolution because in okay. this time this 10 percent suppose one person is not available for this region first okay. time we can check for it this, yeah. so that's why it okay. not appear it okay but in this time uh it will be problem when you want to do for this uh classification for that then it also some problem for the cloud uh but when i want to calculate the indices then there is no problem about that okay so this is the problem i hope you can get the solution about that okay and apply the same process when you can check the satellite image is not covered the region then you have mm -hmm. to increasing this cloud pixel percentage then we can get okay. the satellite images and we can easily work with that okay and this okay. is the map for the ndci so basically in this part we can get this high level of the uh, phytoplankton or zooplankton or other types of um chlorophyll in here chlorophyll a okay so this is the more uh, polluted we can consider as okay and previous class we also try to discuss about the, some other uh concepts such as uh, how can easily calculated the total suspended solid uh, chlorophyll and turbidity okay so this type of class we try to complete our the first class so today we will try to discuss about that how we can easily create this web application web application okay. means that you can see here i also open this um, our fast day code which i discuss so this fast day code we try to make as a web application so that anyone can use this web application and easily get the result about the total uh, suspended have solid check have you checked this one have you yeah. checked the second one okay okay i'll just check it just a minute like that. Okay, so this ROI basically it is a shape file variable name. Okay, so in this time oh, our shape file is. I have changed that yesterday. I have changed that yesterday. I don't know why it's still showing here. So just okay, see. no problem. Okay, yeah. I change it now. And simply, and then click the run again. It's showing that normal difference, no band name, yeah. with three available yeah. band name. So no band P, okay, I can check this result again. So, yes. Green band and near infrared band. Green band and near infrared band. It come from this image collection EIMG. So, okay, I print that and check about all of the band. Simply print that IMG and click the run. Oh my God, it's showing the zero band. Okay, so it zero band. Okay, so how much image is available in here for this region? Check it. Image dot size. Basically, this is the problem because in the water body, you can see there is a zero image. For this uh, mm. water body, there is a zero image. It means that mainly in the water body, it can be lake or river or coastal land it's very difficult to find out the one percent cloud cover okay mm -hmm. so it's very difficult because in the water body always that the evapotranspiration has also uh, making the process for the cloud formation process all time happened okay mm -hmm. so that's why it's very difficult to find out the less than one percent cloud cover image in this type of the water body area so that's why we need to increasing the value suppose i put the 10 percent and check how many image about the 10 percent 
Okay. Okay, we can get the five images. Okay. So now we can get the total five images. And this five images I want to use and then try to find out this result. We can check what we can put. So let's go about that. So just I simply click to the run again and now I will get the result. And just you can check that about that. Uh, how much image you want to get, how much uh, image is available. So this type of then we can get this result. Okay. So now from that we can extract the NDWI means that water pixel value. And from the NDWI you can extract the value for the total suspended. Uh, sorry, it, uh, you put the normalized difference chlorophyll index. So in this water board we can get the some uh, chlorophyll for this side, river bank side, and we also get the some result in here for this chlorophyll. Okay, so you can see this is this type of uh, region we can get the some chlorophyll, phytoplankton, zooplankton, and other things in here. Also get some you can see in here. Okay, so now we can take about the time slip chart. It's showing that error generating the MS collection is MPT. So now we try to discuss about in this time you can see why it will be showing this MPT. MPT it will be showing because I want to use at the one person. Okay, so when I put at the ten person and click to the run, so now it also create the time slip chart. Okay. So now we can get the total five images for this region, and using this five images is create this time series chart. From this time series chart, we can easily identify when the chlorophyll is the high, when the chlorophyll is the low. For this lake, we can you can see you can get the result look like that. Okay, just simply click on here, then you can easily get the chart. We can it showing that result for the January 26, 2021 is the high, and low is that we can get this result for November 17, 2021. So this is the result we can got okay so not only for this water body any types of water body when when you want to work first of all you need to check how many images are available okay. if there is the no image then we can increasing the cloud pixel percentage and work with that okay okay, okay so any question any problem now about that yeah yeah i think that's okay i'll check on the one okay. uh, the, the other ones I'll, I'll that one too yesterday when i was doing i had a problem so Okay, okay, you can face any problem, just let me know and also send me the code link with asset. Then I also try to fix okay. the problem. Okay. Sure. Okay, so now okay. let's go over today's class. So mainly today we will try to discuss about this web application. So I run this web application again. And basically this web application, we are just uh, creating this type of analysis. With analysis, we already create the code about for this uh, second first class. I also try to show you this part. Suppose first the code link. I simply open that from here. Okay, keep it run. So basically first day we will so try to uh, make this uh, code for that for a specific any water body how we can easily calculate it, the um, uh, turbidity how we can easily calculate it, the total suspended solid how we can easily calculate it, the uh, chlorophyll okay or ndci so in this time you can see this is my fixed region okay for this fixed re region i want to get the result about that uh, tar uh, NDCI or chlorophyll also get the result about that total suspended solid also get the result for uh, turbidity okay for the fixed region okay in this time we want to also we can get the time series chart about that when the turbidity is the high when, when the turbidity is the low also we can get the result for the chlorophyll when the chlorophyll is the high when the chlorophyll is the low we can also get this result also we can get the result about that total suspended solid okay for any for a specific water body okay but in this time we want to create an web application this web application can be monitored this type of analysis for any water body region just you can simply um okay i also take it just you can simply uh, draw your region of interest uh it's showing the result about this turbidity about the chlorophyll about that uh total suspended solid okay so for that we are creating this type of web application uh, mainly this type of web application you can simply draw your region of interest suppose this is my region of interest or lake so just i simply select my specific time period okay so i simply select the time period look like that suppose 2021 january 
first january suppose from i also put the time period such as uh, suppose 2020 suppose december suppose this time period i want to simulate my time period and draw my roi between this time period i want to check what is the condition about the water body so in this time from this web application users easily can select their region and get the result and what the result they need so suppose you can say i want to show the result for the turbidity simply select the turbidity and submit so now it's showing the result between this time period about that turbidity we can got the result in from here so you can see also get the time series chart for year of 2021 when the turbidity is the high we can get the high turbidity is that march 23 i want to check about that suppose chlorophyll select the chlorophyll and click to the submit so now it's showing the result about the chlorophyll uh, between this uh, year of 2021 when the turbidity chlorophyll is the high and low we can easily find out from that as well as we can also select the suppose uh, total suspended solid and submit so now i can get the result about the total suspended solid between the year of 2021 when it will be high when it will be low we can easily identify from this time series chart as well as it also provide you the animation about the changing animation okay so this type of web application we can easily create in google earth engine platform and also display our result for this any water body lake in the world okay so let's go about that we try to discuss about that how we can easily create this type of web application so let's go so for that i simply open a new code editor and try to show you all of the function step by step then it also better understand and using the same concept you can easily create any types of web application in google earth engine platform in this time i want to display the result for the water quality but if you want you can also use this code for the ndvi showing the visitation index or any types of other index you can easily apply when you want to understand about the code okay so let's go about that so for that um, first of all we try to discuss about that uh, user interface of this web application uh -huh. so user interface in this time when you want to see this web application in this web application we can get the left this is the sorry this is the right part okay this is the right part and this is the left part okay in the right part we are also showing the some select start date select in date after select start date we can get the uh, date slider and we can also add here the calendar okay as well as also you can see the after in date we are also add here this date slider and also add here this calendar okay after that we are using here the option draw roi you can see here when i click to the run uh run means that i open my web application okay so just i open the web application again and then i check about that you can see here after selecting the roi when i click the roi automatic appear at a new panel in here you can say i click to the draw roi it create a new panel you can see it create the new panel when i click on here it's showing the new panel okay so this is the system i already said about that when i click the R draw roi it's showing the a new panel in here okay then all of those function turbidity chlorophyll total suspended solids uh, all of the things i already create the layer and this layer i want to add the list in here from this list which i want to select it will be appeared in here and also appear at the legend about that uh, suppose turbidity i select so show the turbidity legend show the animation of the turbidity show the animation of the time series of the turbidity okay also you can see the i write the run which because this is a text also you can see submit button and clear map button okay so let's go about that how we can easily create this type of analysis so first of all so uh, yeah. hello yeah please uh -huh. before you continue can you move up to maybe uh the chef i sent to you can you go there and just draw on it let me see if it will work the area the area the one i sent uh -huh, here maybe any of this area just move it there and draw and see whether it will work okay so in this shape i'm going to select the another area yeah another area okay so, so let's, let's see what i've sent to you yeah maybe you can scroll to that area and then just check and see if it will run okay so i simply select this time period suppose okay 
Okay, and I want to draw the area. Where is it, your area? Yeah, Ghana, somewhere. Okay, this thing, okay. Okay, you can see me the uh, your place name. Yeah, um, Wedja. Okay, Boson. Yeah, Boson Tree. Those. Okay, yeah. I tried to. No, B O. B O. Okay. B O. Yeah, S O M. S O M. Yeah, T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, this leg. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so now we try to discuss about that. So let's guys simply draw this R Y. Yeah. And simply select this leg boundary. Then suppose start with it and submit. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. You can get the result perfectly. You can see when you not only I just select the suppose chlorophyll and check. We can get the chlorophyll about that okay. as well also total suspended solid and submit so this water wood is not more uh, polluted i think okay. so that's why it look like this you can see the or listen almost okay. zero total suspended solid for this water body yeah and what is the other region you are also check the other region suppose what is the yeah. name Weja. Weja. w yeah w e i j a w E I, e I yeah J A J James J yeah, 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 A this. yeah 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 this like yeah we also try to check about that result simply draw the ROI and simply select this And then simply suppose twirl split to the run. If we can get the result look like this. Okay. You okay. can get this map look like that. And also get the time free chat in here. Okay. So we're going to select this priority and submit. Can get the time to reset look like that. So, does it mean looking at what we are seeing, turbidity is high? Yeah. Okay, because looking at the green color, it's yeah, almost so full of turbidity. Yeah, so basically, in this time, it's showing the turbidity look like that. So, mm -hmm. in this time, uh, it depend on the visualization. Okay. So in this code, we are also added the visualization and we also put the range. Okay, so that's why in this time, we can get this all of all time. This turbidity is the all time you can see near the 100. Okay, near the 100. Uh, this unit is the phenol uh, phenolometric unit, FNU. We can get the for this region, all time we can get this type of result. Okay, then total suspended solid, we can get this result. Can get the result look like that and also get the time to the chart in the near side yeah, so, we can get so, this. Yeah. so looking at the looking at the turbidity it, it gives us one color meaning the whole water body is turbid or what does it mean water columns you, you could see yeah when you look at the turbidity the the tss is it's kind of okay looking at the variation at different areas but the turbidity give us one complete the turbidity yeah check on the turbidity the turbidity give us one complete color 
or the visualization, which I don't know if it's okay. Or me, yeah, looking at it. Okay, this okay, the chlorophyll. Okay, so mainly in this time for this water body chlorophyll is the near to the 0.5, uh, more than 0.5 arrays for this water yeah. body, you can get this 0.5 chlorophyll more than, but less than one, but get at the negative one. It is the moderate yeah. about this 0.5. And you can also change the visualization. There is no problem when I talk about that in the uh, inside of this code. We can also change the okay. uh, increasing or decreasing the range. Then we can also get the better result for this any region, which is a part yeah. of it. We can check it. Okay. Okay. So let's go about this web application. Okay. So first of all, uh, we need to create the uh, look like this panel. Okay. So in this time, I also follow this and also create this. Suppose this type of panel I want to create in here. Okay. In here, I need to create this panel. So for that, I first of all, I create a variable name. Suppose I put the variable name is that uh, panel, okay? And use a function ui dot panel, okay? So mainly it create the panel, okay? And I want to set here the panel style. So I simply call this variable name panel and set the style. So use here the style function, style function. And this style, I want to set some argument or same some set uh, style function, such as I want to add here this uh, style. Suppose I want to add here this style white. How much long it will be increasing or decreasing? So put here the weight. Suppose weight, I put here this weight. Suppose three hundred pixel. Okay. So now I take a variable panel. And this panel, I want to set the style. I put the white is the 300 pixel. So now let's check about that. I want to use a function ui dot root ui dot root dot add this. I simply call this fun variable name panel and click the run. In this time, you can see it added a panel. Okay, so it added a panel in here. Okay, I want to increasing. Suppose I put at this uh, six 600 pixel. So now it also increasing. You can see. So I put here the 300 pixel and click the run. So an addition. And in this time you can see I use here the UI root add. So user interface root. So in so that's why in this time it will be look like that from the root all of this cover. Okay, all of this cover it covered. And from this uh, width we can control their width. Suppose I put the 300 pixel, so now it will be showing the 300 pixel. When I put the 600 pixel, it also increasing the size. But our length. Our length will be fixed with our root. So basically, it's the root point, and also it's the root point. Okay, so it will be add with the root point, and I can increasing the width with my control. I put the 500 pixel. Now it's showing the 500 pixel. I want to put at the 300 pixel. Now it's showing the 300 pixel. But our it will always add our root. Okay, it will be root our add with our root. Okay, so now is at the function ui root dot add panel. Okay. So now I want to write here, suppose start date. You can see, uh, I want to add here the start, select start date. Okay. So for that, I can easily use that. So just I simply call the panel. Okay. Because I want to add the right start date in here. So I use the panel and use the add function. Okay. Add function. And when I want to add a level, so use the user interface level. So user interface level. In this level, I want to put suppose select start date. Okay. So now click to the run. In this time, you can see it will be added in here. Okay. So this is my panel. So this is my panel. This panel, I want to add a level. So this is my level. I want to add this. So that's why it's really showing like in here. Okay. So now I want to add the date slider. Okay. So now I want to add the date slider. So for that, take a variable. Suppose date one. And after that, I put a function ui dot user interface date slider. Okay. And put here this start date, in date, all of the things I want to put in here. So just I simply put here, uh, suppose I want to put a curly bracket start. 
and also put the curly bracket in make a dictionary so first of all start date so suppose i want to put the start date it will be counting start from suppose um, 0 01 first january 2018 okay and also put the in date in this time i will not mention any in date i will not mention so it will be updating automatically and my calendar in this time you can see in my calendar when i want to open that calendar this calendar is showing this uh update time we can get the suppose uh 2023 2023 may 31 okay so it will be updating automatically suppose from the next day it will be start from the june then june 1 june 2 june 3 june 4 5th june okay it automatically updating so that's why i will not change the time it automatically I, uh, updating the present time for my calendar that's why i use a function e dot date okay after that i mention here the date and use a function now function okay date now what is that present date it will be showing the date now okay so then it will be okay there is a no problem and then we are put here the all of the things you will not need i simply add here the style so a style about this date slider so for that i simply use the style in this style i want to add here the length or the width of this date slider so just i simply use here this width width suppose width is that i simply put the width such as 270 pixel okay so now I create my date slider okay this date slider I create and this date slider automatically updating and it is started the date one okay so now I just add this date one with my panel panel basically this panel is the white background okay this white background we consider as a panel it will be stored in the panel variable for that I can simply use here I call the panel 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 and add add date one okay now click to the run so now you can see it will be added we can check the result it will be loaded yeah so now you can see it will be added in here and you can see this is my select date i simply click on here this calendar is show automatically showing it will be updating it will be updating automatically suppose uh, from the tomorrow it will be first june when it will be first june will be come it automatically showing the one okay in this time you can also see the it will be automatically updating because i use a function e date now okay present time what's the date it automatically consider as a in date okay so now it will be done also you can see the another thing is that okay another thing is that is this select in date i want to add that and also select the uh, date slider also so how i can do that same process for that i simply copy the same code simply copy and then paste here and use at the select start in this time i select in date so in date and also put here the suppose this is the date two and date two i want to use here this same all of the thing will be same and then simply add the date to simply copy that variable name and paste it and to add with my panel so now i can see we can get the result look like that you can see we can get the result look like that okay so from that i can simply select my start time period such as i, I want to time period i can simply select my start time period and from that calendar i want to select the in time period which i want to need Okay, so these are two things is done. We can add the date slider. Okay, so now we talk about that. We want to add the another things you can see. Region of interest. We also need to write the region of interest. Okay, so for that we are also applying the UI level. In this level we want to add that. So for that what can we do? So just I simply copy this same thing suppose and paste here. 
I can simply take a, uh, I simply put this, suppose, I simply call the panel, because panel is the white background, okay? This panel I want to add. What can I do add? I want to add here the UI level. And my UI level is that, I simply paste. Click the run. In this time it will be added, you can see. Okay, it will be loaded. You can see it will be added. Region of interest. Okay, so I want to add all of the things in my panel. Okay, so now I want to add here the drawing tools. You can see here, I simply... Drawing tool means that you can see in this uh, main website, you can see drawing. Okay, draw ROI. When I click on here, it's showing as a, we can uh, select our region. Okay, so I clear this map again. And you can see when I draw this ROI, it's showing the two things. When I click on here, draw ROI, it's showing the panel in this in this panel. And also I can draw my rectangle or draw my area, which I want to observe. So in this time here, including two function or two operation in here. One operation is that when I click on this map, it's showing a panel look like that. And also, I can uh, create this type of rectangle or I can select my region. Okay, so let's go how we can do that. Two types of operation we can handle. So let's go. For that, okay. For that, I need to use a function. This function is that uh, I take a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that. Drawing tools. Okay, and call here the map dot drawing tools. Okay, and in this time, what happened? You can see what are the tax of this function drawing tools. Simply copy that. Okay, that's why simply copy from here and paste in the documentation tab. Drawing tools. So basically, uh, return the maps drawing tools, which can be used to create or edit the shape on the map. So mainly it provide you the drawing tools, such as rectangle, polygon, this type of uh, drawing tools it provide. In this time you can see, it will be showing in here the drawing tool. So polygon is a drawing tool, rectangle is a, uh, uh, this is a draw shape. Also you can see, it's called the drawing tool. In this time, you can see in my web application, where is it? Okay. So this is my web application. In this web application, when I click to the run again, I run the again code again. In this time, you can see in here, there is no drawing tool. Okay. There is the no drawing tool you can see. This, there is the no drawing tool. This drawing tool, I add in here. Okay. In this time, there is a no drawing tool. But you can see in my code, it also showing the drawing tool. Okay. So in this time, I need to vanish. So I remove all of those drawing tool from here. So that's why I simply take a variable drawing tools and store the great drawing, map the drawing tools function. Okay. And now I said here, now I set the option, uh, suppose I want to remove that. So for that, I can simply call this variable name drawing tools from here and paste here and use a function. Uh, this function is a set, uh, set shown function, set shown. I put here the Boolean operator. I want to put here the false. When I use here the false, it means that when I use the false, all of the things will be gone. Okay. All of the things will be gone. So now, okay, so you can see before that I simply take a rectangle or geometry. I want to include in here. Then click to the run. In this time you can see this, all of those drawing tool will be removed from here. Because you can see all of the drawing tool mainly stored it in this in here. So I store it in this variable and this variable I set shown as a false. False means that now it will be removed. So let's let's go click to the run.
Okay, clear to the run. I think it will be working. Okay, you can see now all of those uh, drawing tools is removed from my site. Okay, so in this time, if you have any question about this user interface, you can ask me. Anyone, any question if you have? So all of the things will be very easy. Just you can practice one time or two times, then you, have, you can easily create on your own self. About that date slider, time slider, also remove this drawing tool. Okay, so any question you have, you can ask me. Any question in here? No, really, not for now. Okay, okay. So I also send you the full practice code. You also try to practice. And then face any problem. Okay. And when you want to understand about this backend code, Using this backend code concept, you can easily create any types of other types of web application using the same process. Okay, so it's very easy. In this time, we can apply this code for this uh, water quality indices, but you can also apply the same code for the air quality monitoring as well also for the other indices. You can easily observe and also make the very beautiful, beautiful uh, web application using the Google Earth Engine platform. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so in this time, my main target is that I create a, I create a tab or button. Okay, basically this is the button. Okay, this button including two operation. One operation when I click, it open a slide, look like this white background or panel, and also create an option for drawing the rectangle or select the region. Okay, so let's go how we can do that. 